Welcome to this video on how to solve binomial distribution problems which is most commonly found in STATS 1. So I'm going to go through a typical question I'm going to explain to you how you do it. So here is said question. The probability that a pen drawn at random from a box of pens is defective is 0 0.1. And the first part is find, find out the probability of having no defective pens. Second part is finding out whether having one defective pens and the um, third part is at least two defective pens. Now there's one thing that you always need to do when trying to solve binomial distribution and that's to use um, the formula which I'm going to just write now. So I'll quickly, check, quickly change that. Now the formula is n c x p to the x 1 minus p to the power of n minus x. Now then you're probably thinking, well, what, what does this actually mean? Right, well, n is the number of trials. So in this case, as you can see, it says sample equals 8 pens. So that would mean that n equals 8. Right, p is effect for your probability. which also which is um 0 0.1 or we can just or 1 over 10 effectively i'll probably just use 0 0.1 once it's written it'll probably be a bit simpler that's all and then finally you've got x now x is given in the question because it's effectively how many times do you get this result so no defective pens would be 0 one defective pen 1 at least 2 is um uh 6 so x is effectively your number of times although that's just the way I that's just the way I see it, and x is usually the value that changes in the question. So just to repeat, the formula is n c x p to the x one minus p to the power of n minus x. So we'll start with question one. So no defective pens, therefore it's eight. I just draw number one to make life easier. Eight c zero. Then we've got p, which is one tenth to the power of. 0 times 9 tenths to the power of 8. Now, you probably will put this in your calculator because it uses C, and C is a function that is probably most easily used on a calculator. So you just write 8C0 times, put time sign just to make life easier, times 1 over 10 to the power of 0 times 9 over 10 to the power of 8. Now, this should give you an answer to three decimal places of minus 430. Now you can typically do these to three decimal places and this is just to give yourself a more accurate answer. It's usually the way you'll see things in um, answer schemes as well. Now we'll start with part two. Now part two you can probably guess what you need to do now. As it's one defective pen then the same thing kind of applies. We do 8c but instead of 0 we do 1 times 1 over 10 to the power of 1 times 9 over 10 to the power of 7. I think probably most of you might have predicted that, so it shouldn't be too bad for you to try and work out. And again, you'll need to put this in a calculator, and you get an answer of 0 0.383. So just to rephrase on that question, um, what we've done is we've done 8C, but instead of um, using 0, because 0 was our number of trials in the first question, we've used 1. As it says in the second question, you need to use one defective pen, so we've only got one trial and therefore it's it then times one to the t sorry times one over ten to the power of one and then times nine over ten to the power of seven because x and n minus x must add up to make n and then we have um at least two defective pens now there is a number of ways there are pretty much a number of ways of doing this we could do it so that we did 8c2, 8c3, 8c4, 8c5, 8c6, 8c7 and 8c8 or there's a much simpler way of doing it because we know um, what no we know the answer for um, we know the answer for no defective pens and we know the answer for one defective pens. What we can do is we can just do one, which is you know total probability, and we can do 1 minus 0 0.430 minus 0 0.383 and that should 
give us an answer of 0 0.187. Now this seems to be particular this seems to be probably the most accurate answer we can get. I have actually taken these to slightly more decimal places because if we were to do these to four decimal places it would be eight it would be um zero point four three oh five and zero point three eight two six if we were to do these to four decimal places. So if we were to write this again to four decimal places it would be zero point four three oh five minus zero point 3826 equals 0.187. Either should be fine in either should be fine, but remember to round correctly, you know, above five, then you go to the next one below five, you round down. Provided you remember that, then you sh your answer should always be fine. So just to recap, we've used the formula ncx p to the x, 1 minus p to the power of n minus x, and I've explained what each of the variables are. N is the number of trials, p is your probability, x is your number of times. And then you've done. Then you've put the numbers into the formula, and you've then you've times them all together to get your answers. And remember, if you're looking for at least two of something, provided you've worked out all the options below that, you should be able to just minus them from one to get your answer. Thank you very much for listening.